Hello, it's Vidhead85. Can we talk for a second? Good. All right, so right now, um, as I am doing videos regarding the uh, county races, there is one that, I don't know, I kind of see it as maybe shit sandwich, vomit sandwich, but then again, you know, um, there's, there's just a lot of complication behind this. Um, the sheriff race. It's going on, and I'm kind of perturbed by both Democrats. Dobson has the support of the Law and Order Party, which I feel is a bunch of white men who don't have to deal with discrimination, and possibly along with security guards unions, so they can get more prisoners in their jails. Like uh, Soylent Green comes to, to mind. Ta they take our people, you know, off to prison and feed their families. Soylent Green is actually about a um, the stuff where they euthanize old people and make them into the Soylent Green, which is uh, how, how they feed the all the people. But while Dobson is rightly concerned about the guards being overworked, a glaring neglect for prisoners gives me the heebie-jeebies. After all, the county is fighting lawsuit after lawsuit over prisoner treatment. Dobson would be walking into that, and this law and order thing, uh, party thing, makes me wonder if they really know about the prison industrial complex and the school to prison pipeline in our communities. I have to think about that fact that many police officers also are not trained w with dealing with people with developmental and d d disabilities, like Ethan Saylor, pictured here. He was killed in a movie theater while he, while he sat there waiting to see the movie again. They had to leave, but I believe he's a 36-year-old man with the mind of a nine-year-old. He was cuffed with three pairs of cuffs to accommodate his girth, and his last words were, Mommy, this hurts. The police were not listening to his health aide and was explaining that all he wanted to do was watch the movie again. This is just one of the little, this is just one of the, the things that, that kind of gets to me. But that's more about police training you know, but um, not seeing both sides of this kind of, it kind of gets me a little hinkly though. Now, Bert Dunn, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a bit hinkly about him because um, let's take a look at this mailer here. And you know what? I have my problem. I have some issues with Obama. I have some issues with Cuomo. But he says here, I'm not an Obama fan or Cuomo fan. Ronnie Reagan is my favorite president. I'm hoping many Republicans look at me and see a guy who share their values on justice. Now, I know Republican justice. His favorite president was Ronald Reagan, who started a war on drugs, which was code for war on black people and the drugs they use, like marijuana and crack. Okay? who supported apartheid in South Africa, and the Senate overruled him on a, uh, on, on a certain law of divestment, 78 to 21, okay, bipartisan, which actually at that time, I think they may have, have been Democratic controlled that whole time, because the Democrats controlled the House and the Republicans controlled the Senate, and then uh, I think in 1984, they both, both chambers went Democrat. A man who called Social Security a Ponzi scheme and a union buster, the same who cut mental health funding and made sure he kept raising taxes on the poor and cut them for the rich. Any man who admires Ronald Reagan and cites his views on justice is like asking Paul Ryan to debate with the facts. Ronald Reagan was a great communicator, and his, but his policies were shit. Republican justice has led to the silencing of dissent in state houses, like in Texas, where a woman was carried out uh, from the speaker's chair, okay, and not able to finish her testimony when she was speaking against an abortion bill. Republican justice was seen in Raleigh, North Carolina, where more Monday pro protesters are getting arrested every week for protesting their government, and where you can get arrested in Madison, Wisconsin, for singing or even putting your hands over your mouth to protest being silenced. These are not the values I want to see in the sheriff's office. This race for me is a toss-up. I, I think I lean Dobson's way here um, after previously thinking to vote for Dunn. So I think um, I this is a toss-up for me, but I think I'm leaning Dobson right now. So that's my thoughts on the sheriff's race. I will see you later. Thanks for letting me talk at you. Talk to you.